So Bombers to the left of your dial, the Saints to the right hand side and here the call, the opening bounce on WARF Radio, it is the Wizard of Odds primetime Paul Sebastiani. Thank you very much Brent. The umpire holds a TW Sheridan aloft and we're underway for the 2022 VFLW Grand Final. From the start, it's the Southern Saints who are going to get the first clearance inside forward, 50 through Capsalis. Around half forward here for the Southern Saints, out of sight. Stacks on the pill and we're going to have a ball up here, right on the 50 paint, right on that big Bombers logo here at North Port Oval. They'll kick to the Bob Bonnet end of the ground. Nance going around this. She wins possession of the ball, just dropped it as she was tackled, got a little handball out. Plays around this one, DeAngelis in there for the Southern Saints, little scrubby kick towards the forward pocket. Danielle Marshall cleaning up the mess, just throws it on her boot. It's all Southern Saints, up high, call play on. I think it may have been touched off the boot. Southern Saints go back inside, 450. Can they get a mark over the back of the contest? Slater was there in trying to lay a strong tackle. There is DeAngelis. Oh. She laid the tackle, was stolen away, kick was smothered at the top of the goal square. They're all in there. Big pressure laid by the Bombers defenders. Handball came out, flying shot towards goal. He's going to stay out wide, out of bounds on the full. Fast start, but the Bombers will get the result resulting kick or was it off hands? Umpire's deliberating here and they've called out of bounds on the full so a free kick will go the way of Mariana Anthony deep inside the back pocket for the Bombers. Anthony was just about best on ground in round 13 between these two 19 disposals and 7 tackles she got the option here short to Ashley Cooper the best and fairest winner from last year the young lady from Finlay in New South Wales and out there in the big time today kicks the Bombers towards the uh, wing position Mia Ray Clifford's come a long way up the ground she'll lock it up young Maddie Capsalis in there for the Saints and she's a little slow to pick herself up Umpire says, give it to me and I'll ball it up. 55 out from home. Saints doing the attacking early. One down by Black. Picked up by Nan Scorn who wanted a free kick for being held as does the, the uh, Bombers fans. Now to kick the little one up towards the wing. It's uh, McLean and Hines there. Hines oh. had to get rid of it. Well done Doon. Got a hand in. She's onto it in the middle of the ground. Handball to Mia Ray Clifford who went with a blind handball there looking for Jay-Z. It's Jordi Zanketa. Handball back to the captain Nan Scorn in the middle of North Port Oval. Great vision. Kick to the outer side where Hugel ran onto it for the Bombers. Inside 50 they go, it's not the best kick McIntosh lost her footing, Jolliffe there for the Saints, should be able to pick it up, although a good recovery from McIntosh, wrapped her up Barber now watching over it for Essendon it's come out to Courtney Eugle, handball to Nance Scorn, she's on fire early back to Eugle, the former captain combines with the current skipper, kick towards centre half forward where Nelda dropped the mark and Nelda's jumped on by Olivia Flanagan and we're going to ball up just outside 50 for the Bombers, still no score in the grand final, we played two and a half minutes, let's hear the voice of Katie Lambeski for the first time today. What a start, such a cracking pace set by both sides here as Nanscore looks to go forward into 50 here. Big, big moment for the Saints to step up to this pressure here by the Bombers. So Bucken with a clearing kick outside defensive 50, trying to wheel around on her boot was Morecambe tackled as she did, may have been ridden in the back, the crowd wanted the free kick. Little handball from Lang all across half back here for the Southern Saints. Right on the paint of 50, we'll have it tossed up. 49 metres out, broadcast side here. Essendon into attack. Nelda and Black in the ruck. Black won the tap down, only went as far as Barber. She got a handball to Anthony. Threw the ball on her boot to around about 35 metres out. Jolliffe was in there. Stacks on the pill again. McIntosh burrowing her way under. It's about 30 to 25 metres out from the Essendon goal. And we'll have it tossed up. Neither team yet to get a score. Three and a half minutes gone in this opening term. Early thoughts, Alex Doherty. Well, I've, I've been very impressed with the work of Matty Capsalis early. Just two cl- two clearances already in this game. So I, I think she's going to be a problem for Essendon if this keeps so going. Ball right on the goal line here. Frederica Fru. Barber went in there. She was wrapped up by Lang right next to the behind post. And we'll have it tossed up. Another stoppage inside forward 50 for the Bombers. Interesting battle between Nelda and Black. They're going to go up in the rut contest again. Nelda went up, won it down. Zach Ketter in there laying a tackle. Umpire will cross himself again and we'll have it tossed up. Just quickly, the umpires out there today. Connor Hawes, Kyle Van Ray and Hugo Morgan all making their grand final debut. Bombers at the teeth of goal. Good pressure in there from Dicker. Trying to spin clear was Sarah uh, Black, the ruck woman for the Saints, who has a big job today going up against Simone Nelda. We might see Danielle Marshall run through the ruck as well for the Bombers. The Saints with just one recognisable ruck. as a free kick pulled out here. And here's an early problem for the Saints. It is going the Bombers' way. And speak of the devil, it's Simone Nelda who will get the first real look at goal for the Bombers. Hasn't kicked a goal all year. Has only kicked two VFLW goals in her 57 games. Can she kick the first of the grand final? She can! 
Oh, they're away, the Bombers, and you would have got long, long odds on <laughs> Simone Nelda. Just her third goal in this, her 58th game. A late birthday present for Simone. She turned 32 on Thursday. Happy birthday, Simone Nelda. Alex Doherty. Well, she was being held that ruck contest. That was the umpire that, was the umpire that called, the, uh, called the free kick for. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, fant- fantastic last couple of minutes by Essen, and they're sort of they're sort of just riding that riding that pressure that the Saints are giving them early, and and if, if they continue, they're making little mistakes with by hand by hand the Saints, but uh, I, th- I think if they keep doing that, then it's going to be a long afternoon. So back in the middle, Bombers with the first one straight six. Did that just happen? <laughs> first goal all season, the opener in the big game. Wow. <laughs> What a time to do it. No better moment than to pick your spot. Take a bow, Simone Nelda. Cracking start to this contest. I reckon you'd have got about 50 to 1 for her to kick the first goal in this game just quietly. Wizard but she's got it nonetheless. So from the restart, back with the kick out wide. Another clearance for the Southern Saints. They've won the first two centre clearances. Radford was in there. Nelda went back in. Zanketa for Essendon. Underneath that pack there, Anthony. Did she sit on top of that umpire hovering? And he's going to call the ball up. Just the attacking side here of the centre square for the Southern Saints. So from the restart, Black just slapped it out the back of the contest. It's going to be all bombers here though. Little kick around the body now. It's a foot race. Chasing after the footy here is Hannah Stewart. She's going to have plenty of it today. She's going to be an important figure for the Southern Saints. Bounced off a few hands there. Yugle, her kick was targeting McIntosh. She was worked away from the ball. Works its way up towards centre wing. Tierney spun her way out of trouble beautifully. Handball to Barbo. She put up the don't argue. Ooh. Got tackled. Turnover. Handball there. She was wrapped up. Was Neves. Good tackle pressure for the Bombers. And now they cause a turnover. Barber via hand. Out wide. Handball was okay. Found Grace Dicker. She's helped towards the boundary line. And now the umpire will call for the throw in. And we'll have it tossed up the attacking side of the wing for Essendon. And they lead it one straight six. Southern Saints yet to score. Bombers in attack. Just their offensive side of the wing. Katie Lambeski. Positive signs there from the Saints covering those Essendon exits. Not allowing Tierney to really link up with Barber. Just trying to cover it at all costs. They're going to need to really be hot on that to stop that dynamic Essendon ball movement. Capsalis breaks her way through and away she goes. Scrubs one up towards half forward. Hosking couldn't get it. She was bundled over. Great stuff there by Kearns. Dragged down by Clark. Got a good spot with the kick though at half forward. Stop. Tari, great tackle by Tamsin Crook. Maybe should have been rewarded. Play on the call. Knocked out a play there by Tamsin Crook, who, like we mentioned, is the oh, only yeah. teenager. Wow. Good call. No, it wasn't no, a good call, Brent. Very good call. good call. Okay, good. great stuff by the umpire, Alex yeah, Doherty and Paul Sebastiani in a greens for once. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, Tamsin Crook, the only teenager out there today for the Bombers, and she's been penalised holding the ball. Lang kicked it inside 50, where Stewart couldn't take it. Neves, the former Bomber, of course, handball stolen by Radford. Gee, she put Crook under the pump. Rapari caught by Eloise tackle. Ashley Cooper. Great pressure. It's been hot from the Bombers, and they'll get a free kick in the back 50. Kayla Rapari stands the mark, but Eloise Ashley Cooper just caught Kayla Rapari unawares. And so the Bombers, who lead early one straight six, the Saints yet to score. Ashley Cooper comes short and finds Mariana Anthony for the Bombers at left half back. So Anthony. Her and Winnie Lang are really going to battle out that wing position. It's going to be an important part of this game. Kick at the back of the initial contest. It's off hands. Bombers win out. McDonald a handball towards Fru. Good tackle there. Laid on Gentilo, but she was taken high. And Gentilo will get the free kick across the defensive side of the broadcast wing. So Gentilo, eight and a half minutes gone here in this first term. She goes with a little darting ball up the line, and there's a free kick in the back against Radford. What about that one, Doc? No, that was there. <laughs> very very blatant so, shove there, uh, Brent. Smack bang in front of the broadcast spot. It'll be Neves. She gives herself five metres, comes out wide. Her kick up towards half forward, falls out the back of the contest. Hosking just kept it out in front of herself, trying to lay a tackle there. Was Flanagan. It's back Ooh, inside, 450. Crowd on a ball. Lang just threw it on her boot. Out of bounds on the full. And the Bombers will get a free kick inside defensive 50. Broadcast side. So, Eloise Ashley Cooper... She comes across goal. It's a bit of a risky kick. It's okay. It's going to work out. Whoa. And now the Bombers could potentially go the other way. No, oh! no, no. Holding the ball. Holding the ball. Big tackle by Taylor Kearns. Well, she's the fastest player at the club, they reckon, Taylor Kearns. So Kenny Hyle just took on the wrong yep. player, I'm afraid. Absolutely. The switch was on, but uh, Kendra Hyle not aware. Zed Neves and her kick inside. 450 oh. to Stoltari. She was sold up the creek. Into a wall of bombers. Anthony was in there with Nance Gordon. Gone. And she's gone holding the ball as well. 
Just wanted to say earlier, I think that was Nicky Cormack that tried to make the spoil and overcommitted. So thank goodness there was another teammate that ran it down. Otherwise, they were out. Middle stages of the opening quarter of the grand final on WARF Radio as Mariana Anthony with disposal number five sent it towards the outer side. But an easy intercept mark for the Saints. Taken there by, uh, that was McLean, who comes into the middle of the ground. And they've got it just backward of centre of the Saints through Cormac. And they want to just chip it around and try and ease a little bit of the pressure that they've been put under in this first quarter. Bucken kick pressure by McIntosh, but did well to find Rapari. It was a bit of a mung, wasn't it, to be fair? And Rapari hoists one inside, 50 for the Saints. Can they find a mark? Oh, you bet they can. A great double grabber taken by Taylor Kearns. 25 out right in front. Knocks a fortune a little bit, Alex Stockerty, but here's a good opportunity to find their first goal. Yeah, it is, but it's very good play by the Saints. They've set themselves up beautifully in their own forward half, and when they get the ball, they're not they're not rushing. They're just sort of they got to try and find the mate, make the right decisions, and it's leading to the scoring opportunity here. She got the free kick a moment ago for the rundown tackle. Seven goals, one so far in the final series, hitting them sweetly from right in front. Not her best kick, it in fact won't have the journey. Couldn't quite hold on to the mark there. The Saints player right on the behind line it was Olivia Flanagan and the ball trickles out in the right forward pocket for the Southern Saints and can I just say it looks like the Saints have made a late change because Ebony Nixon is out there she was in the emergency so we'll have to leave it uh, maybe until quarter time we'll try and get Ali Collette and Alan Matthews on to who's been the unlucky Saints player pulled out of the team so from the restart again black in the ruck contest there Staltari threw her body on the line. Nance Gorn just ripped the ball out. Got the handball inside towards Barber. Ball in dispute at the moment. Staltari's there laying a tackle. Nance Gorn got the handball out. Did it really well out towards Crook. Her kick outside defensive 50. Anthony, it's a foot race. She beat Lang to it. Had to step back, go the other way, and then thumped it forward. Foot race now. McIntosh in pursuit of the ball. So is Nixon for the Southern oh. Saints. Jeez, it's turnover though. McIntosh, those legs are pumping inside forward 50. She was bowled over. It's around about 25 metres out from the Essendon goal. Fast transition. They lock it up inside forward 50. Umpire crosses himself and will have it tossed up. Katie, that transition looking mighty dangerous for the Bombers early. Absolutely, absolutely. It just shows you exactly what they can do. They don't need much to, uh, much space to pull that off. Just absolutely dynamic is the word for them there. Oh, Radford with a clever kick. Kicked it straight up into space. And then got another kick. Two for the price of one. Oh, Rapari oh, under all gone. sorts. Ashley Cooper oh. got her. Umpire oh, gave some real leniency there. Said that there was a handball in there. And now there's a free kick going the Bombers' way. So maybe we got there in the end. They didn't get the first one. It was Aloise Ashley Cooper who's everywhere at the moment. But here is Cecilia McIntosh in her final game as a league footballer. Injured her hamstring earlier this season, was having a great year for the Bombers and then had to watch on the sidelines. Returned late on and she's going to kick for goal. Only about 30 metres out, as good as directly in front. The Kenley Old Timer, the 43-year-old from right in front to the Fred Cook end of the ground. It's just drifting. Just drifting and missing to the right-hand side. And so Essendon a 1-1-7 and the Southern Saints are yet to score. 13 minutes gone in the opening term. So... The resulting kick in here will be taken by Saltry. Her driving kick up the line. Target initially was Ryan just over her head. Ball in dispute along the boundary line there. Hosking for the Bombers. Not able to figure this out and we'll have it tossed up. Just quickly, the out for the Saints is the Irish woman, Claire Keoane. So no doubt her family got up early to watch back home in Cork Island. I bet they're real happy to learn that their daughter and uh, sister's not playing. I'm sure they'll still be watching, though. They've Brent, gone back to uh, bed, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> so from the restart, Nance Gaunt, handball to Hosky. Not the best back to Nance Gaunt. Turnover, still Tari. She's got Lang for support. She was wrapped up by Nance Gaunt all across the offensive side of the wing for the Bombers. Umpire will cross himself and we will have it tossed up right on the white paint of the centre square. Interesting to see Marshall has been uh, slung into the ruck. This time it was Black who won the tap down. Handball sharked out the back of the contest towards Hiles. She just had to wait and pick it up. Got the handball out. Nance gone in there again. She's been busy early in this contest. Again, ball in dispute. Kendra Hile in there laying a tackle and we will have it tossed up. Capsalis around this footy for the Southern Saints. Couple of clearances early for her. Marshall got front spot at the ruck contest. Came down to Barber, but the Southern Saints win possession. Winnie Lang, her kick up the line. Now, if this bounces, it's just going to stay in and be helped over the line. Intelligently done yeah, there by Flanagan yeah. to get that throw in. 
Liv Flanagan, Ra sorry, Pella. No, yeah, rather than that, uh, that Lassure we see always yes. coming, Brent. Yep. I was just going to say, one of only two players out there today for the Saints with VFLW Grand Final experience. Won the flag with Hawthorne in 2018 from the restart. It's Marshall and Black in the ruck. Clever from Marshall. Knocked it into the path of Nan Scorn. Great handball. Just didn't quite read it in flight. Doonan coming across Gentile. Had it stolen by her teammate. Doonan might have taken the Saints play a high play on. Nan Scorn back towards the goal square. Oh, McQueen let it get no. out the back. McIntosh gave it to Tierney. And the Bombers have their second. Renee Tierney, have a listen to the roar ring around North Port Oval. Great play from the Bombers. Georgia McLean comes steamrolling out of full back and the bounce, that damn Sharon just beat her. Quick hands, it has to be said, from Cecilia McIntosh, Doc, to get it up to Tierney, who ran into an open goal and the Bombers are away on grand final day. She did the right thing, though. She, she, she took the front yep. spot. She, yep. was, she was about two, three metres in front of her direct opponent and it was just that bounce. It was just so unlucky and so unfortunate. And it was always going to end up end up costing them in the end with that bounce. It's just very, very uh, unlucky footy. If that's not an indication, it's not the Bombers' day already. I don't know what is. Uh, ball, the bounce of the ball went their way. Tierney picked her moment to perfection. Was in the right space to uh, to poach that opportunity right there. Spot on football from Tierney, a class player in her own right, of course. Georgia McLean was McLean bold. She was McLean bold. <laughs> ah, very well done, Brent. Some of your finest work on the. Uh, the final day of the calendar here for the VFLW <laughs> season. Saves the best for last. He does indeed. Hines won it down from the ruck contest. It's another centre clearance for the Southern Saints, but they haven't really been able to generate anything dangerous from them. Charlotte Ryan in there laying a tackle. And we'll have it tossed up. Out of side here at North Port Oval. Essendon 2-1. Southern Saints yet to score. Essendon looking dangerous on transition early in this game. From the restart, DeAngelis was in there. Nance going again, Ooh. burrowing her way through. May have been taken high there potentially. Steltari just worried out of it. And uh, Nance going winning a clearance. It's only as far as Bucken. She's got time to pick up. Tried to give the handball in, but it's a turnover. Tierney, read it best. Her kick up towards half forward. Just eluded Frederica Fru. Bounced away from her. And we will have it tossed in. Quick note on the clearances. Essendon just currently shading at 7-6. to six. So the Saints midfield uh, holding up pretty well in that battle there. Four minutes, three minutes to play in the opening quarter. Bombers with a fast start and looking electric on the counter-attack when they force the Saints into mistakes. Hines in the ruck, knocked it down, but Barber found it. Outside of the boot, kick smothered. Might have another go here, Barber. Stewart just got there ahead of her. Great tackle from Alana Barber. Holding the ball, says the umpire. And Alana Barber, who was on the Gold Coast Suns AFLW list this season, only got two games up there for the Sunnies. We'll have another look for the Bombers. Kicked a big goal in their qualifying final win over the Hawks. Doesn't kick too many goals, Alana Barber. 12 goals in 29 games for the Bombers. Can Queen B kick one here from just the way to the right? Oh, and she's missed to the right. And they've let a couple of gettable opportunities go, the Bombers. 2-2-14 they are. The Southern Saints yet to score. And we've got a couple of minutes to play in the opening term. This is the voice of Alex Doherty. Well, the ta tackle count's interesting because the Saints are plus four at the moment. But I, th I, think, it's a, I think it's around the coalface that, that Essendon are really exerting their authority and their pressure. And it's giving them these free kicks and, their, and these looks for goal. So Joloff with a long kick up towards half back. Is that off hands and out of bounds? It is. So we'll have it tossed in around about 60 metres out from the Bombers' goal. So 2-2 two -two plays yet to score. Bombers in control at the moment. Minute and a half to go in quarter one. You're listening on Wolf to Wolf Radio. The 2022 VFLW Grand Final. 89.1 FM at the ground. Barber from the stoppage. Laying a tackle on her opponent and we'll have it tossed up. Right on that, that Southern Saints logo there. Smack bang on the 50 metre arc. So Nalder up in the ruck against Hines. Hines won the tap down. Zanketa was in there. Little kick off the ground from the Saints midfield. They're trying to generate some transition here. The Bombers have done well defensively to keep this ball locked inside their forward half. Anthony wrapped up. And we'll have another stoppage. Alex Doherty, what can the Southern Saints do to, to try and get some transition going here from half back? Well, they've got to try. They've got to try and break break through out of the out of the stoppages first, and then uh, you can see their representation forward of field. They've they've got they've got a player outside the corner of the um the square in their forward half, and another player about 15 metres above that. So there's some represent there's some representation forward of forward of um where the stoppage is. They've just got they've just got to try and win it out. 
ball in at right half forward here for the Bombers. It's Hines and Nelda. Nelda won it straight down the throat of Stewart who had her kick smothered. Zanketa, did she get a handball away? The umpire said it was a throw and so the Saints relieved the pressure valve right to, at half back here in the final 30 seconds of the quarter. G it's a high up and under from Liv Robinson. Crook set herself but dropped the mark. Knocked away there to Barber. Dispose on number eight. But uh, in the better position there was Georgia McLean who might be still having nightmares about that one-on-one -on -one she lost with uh, Cecilia McIntosh a moment ago. Short kick to Beck Neves and she will just about have the final kick of the opening term in the grand final. Oh, it was a turnover and Crook picked it up for the Bombers. And that brings to an end Pretty comprehensive opening 20 minutes for the minor premiers. Yeah, moment by moment, they're almost there, but they've just got to be slightly cleaner with the ball. There we go. We Thanks, heard Ali. from Ali. Thank you very much. So from the restart, Nance gone in there again, laying a tackle. I'd like to get her tackle numbers if we could, uh, Katie or Alex. She has been burrowing away in and under those contested situations. Who, who, so who's that? Uh, Georgia Nance gone. Georgia Nance gone. Yep. We'll get that up shortly. I just had the um, just had a couple of tackles. Three, uh, so far. three at the moment. Oh, I think we'll count to that one. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So ball works its way now up towards centre half forward here for the Southern Saints. Sarah Black with the tap down. Ball in dispute now. The umpire is called a holding free kick. Which way is this going to go? It's going to go the way of the Southern Saints. So resulting free kick will be taken by Rapari. Low little darting ball inside forward 50. Not the best to kick. Slater came out at a million miles an hour to try to cause a turnover. She's in there laying a tackle about 40 metres out from the Southern Saints goal and they get a stoppage inside forward 50. Chanel Slater didn't touch the footy in that opening quarter. Of course, only come into the side late in the year. Round seven Keep the couple on debut and has played just about every game since as the Bombers walk it out of the middle. What a kick that was from Ashley Cooper to McIntosh and the Bombers are in business. Nan Scorn bouncing ball to the outer side. Here comes Tierney, a goal kicker in that opening quarter. Flipped up a nice handball. Taken uh, there was Doonan in a strong Saints tackle, but she was even stronger in the tackle. Managed to get a handball free. And now in amongst all of that, I think that might be uh, is it Danielle Marshall or Kendra Heil rather who walks away from that little scrimmage. Down to the boundary line. Alan Matthews. Speak now or forever hold your peace, sir. Go on. Right now. Quickly from the yes in the uh, camp on the, in the middle there. What they thought they would do, most of the girls, they wanted to get the first opportunity. They were trying to get too many handballs, and th that means they couldn't move the ball quickly, so they had to make sure. And that's what the midfield, what they're going to try and do from now on. Thank you, Al. Just having some technical difficulties getting down to the two on the boundary line, but we appreciate their work as we've got a ball up right on the grand final logo. Smack bang centre wing, and we'll do it again as uh, Alana Barber tosses the ball back to the umpire. It's Nelda and Black in the ruck. Nelda reached over the top and knocked it down, but Stewart ran onto it. Under pressure, though. Everything's under pressure at the moment for the Saints. Essendon trying to break clear. Oh. Really well done there. Doonan sends the Bombers inside 50. Arriving late. McIntosh roving it brilliantly at the front. Tierney kicks towards an open goal square. McLean's got a couple to beat. Dicker ran straight well past done. it. That allowed McLean to win the footy. Still under pressure, though. Heil fell over a couple. Went hurdling the Canadian, and now the Saints should get out. She's down behind play. Kendra Hoyle keep an eye on that as Ashley Cooper intercepts right on centre wing for the Bombers. So Ashley Cooper can drive the Bombers back inside forward 50. Oh. That's what she does. Renee Cherney coming out like a train. What a shoe. Marks on her chest. Now making her way from the ground is Kendra Hoyle. We'll get uh, Ali and, Athew and Alan Matthews to keep an eye on that but uh, she's limping off. In the meantime, Renee Cherney. She's already kicked a goal today. She'll kick from 35 metres out, pretty much directly in front. Crowd will tell you the story. It's across the face of goal, off hands Ooh. through for one behind in front of that uh, Bombers cheer squad. Plenty of flags waving about behind there as well. It's the first score of the second term. Two, three plays yet to score. Deanna Jolliffe to take the kick in. The one goal, one for Renee Tierney. Bombers lead by 15. Jolla for the Saints goes to the outer side where she's got Maddie Capsalis all on her own. She marked and then decided not to play on. So the Saints have it at right half back in an early hole on grand final day, but this is better ball use. Winnie Lang has it centre wing out of side. Eugle coming from behind to close down the mark. Winnie Lang, of course, uh, AFLW listed a couple of years ago for the Blues. She looks for Flanagan on a long lead. Stewart took it. Stewart dropped it. Umpire said holding the ball. And again, that relentless Essendon pressure. And again, Eloise Ashley Cooper, who steps up to take the kick. She's been enormous, the uh, reigning best and fairest winner. 
Young lady, as we mentioned in the opening term, from Finlay in New South Wales. Kicked down the line from Doonan, but an important mark taken by Georgia McLean, who's, other than that mistake in the first quarter, has been a pretty uh, solid uh, player down there on the last line of defence for the Saints so far. And she's going to have to play a very yep. important role. A kick inside is a dangerous one. Target was Rapari. Nalda got the fist in all along centre wing here at North Port Oval. Ball in dispute. Handball out from Stiltari was OK. Landed towards Rapari. She had to kick it off the ground. It's a turnover, though. Anthony got the kick away. Did well. Dick up. Around the oh, body, the kick is really kick. nice as well. Oh. Doonan dropped what she probably should have taken, goes back in there. She can give the handball off, went one way, then the other. She oh, runs clever. towards Ford, 50, handball off to Nance, gone towards a hot spot. They all fly, McLean went up, off hands. Oh. She had he stolen and kicked oh. a goal! <laughs> Snap from 25 metres out. She's got her second. Bombers have got their third take a bow, Joanne Doonan. I think she was the one who set that up. Just on the back, just a, just a clever little outside hand pass to Georgia Nanscorn. Yeah. And then she just kept yeah. running. She kept getting herself involved into the next contest. The vision to spot that handball was insane. Composure. It, that fantastic. Was, that, 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 is a rem, that, is remar, that is a remarkable hand pass and it just opened up the entire game there. Nanscorn very, very smart with the kick as well. Put it into a really hot spot. D Doonan just that second, third, fourth effort. Just that repeat running is absolutely crucial. Tierney's looking odds on for best on ground at the moment. She's taken this game by the scruff of the neck just exactly when Essendon have needed it here. They continue, they're continuing to push and push and push here, the Bombers, and they could very much shut the lights out very, very soon. Said she was the one to watch pre-game as well. She's the most dangerous player up forward for the Bombers. Well, well, the Saints, I'm sorry, Katie, the well, Saints are in trouble. <laughs> That's why they call you primetime, Paul Sebastiani. Absolutely. He knows. Absolutely. They're in a hole as we head towards the midway stages of the second term. Renee Tierney with two goals for the Bombers. Back in the middles and Ketter went down. Neve's got a handball uh, to Stewart. Oh. I think that was or Capsalis who stepped out of the Nan scorn tackle. Saints just trying to go up through the gears. Kicking towards Kearns who couldn't get it. Here comes Rip Roar and Rapari who's taken down in a good Bella Clark tackle. And we get a ball up with the Saints inside. 50, about 40 out from goal. Rapari who only missed one game this year. It was the round 13 clash with the Bombers. Struggling with a a shoulder injury in recent times. Nelda won the ensuing hit out. Robinson, Cormac about to be caught by McDonald. She's in all sorts. Nikki Cormac, she gone. Free kick, Bombers holding the ball at half back. Nat McDonald has been a little bit quiet, but she'll kick here for the Bombers and come down towards the wing. She's got Radford. She's the target. Stewart went in there, calls the turnover. Southern Saints win possession back. Little handball out from Neves. Again, ball in dispute. DeAngelo's just bumped off it. Eugle got a good handball to Zanketa. Oh. She stepped back into trouble, got oh, the well handball done. to Eugle, figured her way out, kick up the line. The target there was McDonald off hands and bursting her way through trouble now. Oh, and gone. being run down, that's gone. Joanne Doonan. Grace Nothing Bucken. wrong with taking the game on. She did it to set up the third goal, but Grace Bucken with the defensive duty. Smack bank centre wing in front of the broadcast position. They are in desperate need of the goal, the Southern Saints. Grace Bucken, her kick was almost smothered there. Up the line, kick is OK. Stewart has to wheel and go. Goes long inside, 450. It's off hands, around about 35 metres out from the Saints goal. Can they win possession back? They can't. Hot little kick off the ground by uh, Crook. Her kick went along the ground, mind you. It's outside defensive 50. Tackle laid by the Southern Saints. And we'll have it tossed up around about 55 metres out. Nikki Cormack on the bottom of that pack. And we'll do it all again. Good news for the Bombers. It looks like Kenny Hiles recovered from that knock. And she's back out there. Stewart just route one footy. Just getting it forward out of midair. Here comes Slater. But it'll just bounce away from the oncoming forward and through for the Saints. First score of the grand final. It's a minor one. It come eight minutes in. One behind they are. And the Bombers are 3-3. 21. And they lead by an even 20 points. But everywhere the football goes, Katie. It's just red and black galore. Numbers. Strength in numbers and it's all Essendon at the moment. They're just continuing to flood around the contest, just not allowing Saints any real breathing space at all. So they look to bring the ball from their, in, their defensive 50 here, just taking their time, looking for options. Really positive signs here as the red and black go forward. Marshall from the kick-in found Barber. Disposal number 11 will come unstuck. McLean gave a handball to Winnie Lang who turned inside. Kick hit a really good spot and Gabriella DeAngelis took the mark. Just starting to have a little moment here the Saints. DeAngelis comes across the top of the 50 and hits up her team mate who has it 30 out from goal 
I believe that's Nikki Cormack who is not within her range here, but she'll send it to the goal square, well, out towards the pocket, more to the point, trying to come through Kearns. Nelda there to knock it through for another minor score. So they're hitting the scoreboard, the Saints, but a couple of minors, 0-2 they are. Still the Bombers, 3-3-21, leading by 19 points. Nine minutes gone in the second quarter here in the VFLW Grand Final on WARF Radio. Just, sorry, just felt like that that extra kick, uh, that extra lateral kick was unnecessary. I mean, the, the Southern Saints players were ready to lead at lead at the ball carrier so you know if you you add you add that extra uh, that extra lateral kick and it just enables all the Essendon players to push back and that's why they got that that's why they got that rush behind so from the kick in Danielle Marshall she went with her opposite foot which was the left foot she kicked it out of bounds on the full so the Southern Saints can reload go back inside forward 50 kick up towards the top of the square is that a mark to Slater it is oh going back with the fly courageous mark read it off the boot and she will have a shot from 20 meters out 45 degree angle Sometimes locks a fortune, isn't it? Is indeed. Just, just read the ball, just read the flight of the ball quicker than anybody else there, and just it enables her to just have a shot. It's In- a very, very difficult angle, though. Well, it's in good hands, though. Twelve yep. goals, four this season. Normally pretty reliable. So Chanel Slater, can she kick the first for the Southern Saints? Oh. She's hitting the woodwork. So. Able to generate a couple of shots towards goal here with some good forward half pressure, but unable to hit the scoreboard where it counts in the goals column. 3-3 three, three plays, three behinds. She kicked two goals straight in the prelim. Oh boy, how they would have loved that one there, the Saints. Marshall from the kick in has kicked it 80 metres and it's cleared the pack and the Bombers might have a fast break here, although Cormac won it back for the Saints. Ball in dispute. It's at the feet of Neves. Picked up by Zanketa oh. who had a little fumble, did it well. Oh. Had a look inside, then fell over. Handball to Nelda who was hit hard by Cormac and Liv Robinson in there too. Nelda dropped the football, then jumped on it. Trying to get out of there, Olivia Robinson. She's not going anywhere and the umpire said, I'll ball it up. Of course, Olivia Robinson, who's playing in her second grand final of the year, played in the NAB League Girls grand final for the Dandenong Stingrays. Played very well as well from the restart. Trying to go off the deck, it was Neves who had a complete fresh air. Stewart just trying to lift for the Saints. Paddled it to Lang, who then handballed it straight to uh, Zanketa. The tackle in there come from Hosking. Stewart with the clearing kick. Great vision. Cormac from the 50. Heads out towards the pocket. Kern's got a kind bounce, but she couldn't get a handle on it. Out in front of Bella Clark, and the ball goes out of play in the right forward pocket for the Saints, who are three behinds, trailing the Bombers 3-3-21. So this ruck battle continues between Black and Nalda. Black throwing just favoured her. Nalda slapped it four, though, trying to gain a little bit of territory. They can get out of trouble here. The ball's going to come back inside forward 50, though. Sultry. Her kick landed in the lap of Kayla Rapari. Maybe a little bit too far out to score. She'll have to kick the better part of 40 metres. She's pretty much directly in front. 12 minutes gone in this second term. So Kayla Rapari. She gives it a hoof. It's up towards the top of the goal square. It's gone across the face, though, and through for one behind. Out to the right-hand side. Four behinds, four points. The Southern Saints, Essendon, 3-3-21. But it's much better, Katie. It is. It is. Some good few moments here. They, they need to convert their opportunities, but they're just providing a lot of pressure, getting those repeat inside 50s, continuing to turn the screws a little bit on Essendon here, which, which is exactly what they needed to do. Danielle Marshall again just bangs one to the outer side, but it's cleaned up by Nixon, who gave it to Stewart and then fed a handball to Black and back to Stewart. And the Saints might be in business here. Neves and Stewart again almost fumbled it back to her teammate Neves and then Sultry just sends a wobbler inside 50 and there's a great <laughs> defensive mark taken by Elizabeth Hosking, the young lady from Canberra, a premiership player with the East Lake Demons in the AFL Canberra Ooh. League. It's an untidy kick. Gee, it sets Zanketa a task. Saints might be let in here. Handball from Ashley Cooper, Miss Hosking, Flan- Again, applying the pressure. The Angelus kept it in. Worked a little kick there looking for Rapari, who by the time she found the footy was jumped on by Georgian and Scorn. And we'll get a ball up, 40 out from the Saints goal in the right forward pocket. Maybe a little closer than that. I'll, I'll say 30. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the tape measure out for you, Brent. <laughs> so from the restart, Rapari in there. Clearing kick from Anthony outside the Bombers defensive 50. Bucking. She had McIntosh for company, went back in there, got the handball out. Can the Bombers hit out on the counter? Winnie Lang read the handball well. She was wrapped up as soon as she won it. Nance Gorn taken high. And she'll get a resulting free kick inside defensive 50. 
Yeah, this is where they were dangerous in the opening term with this transition. Her kick, it sat up right in the air and it let Rebecca Neves in. She got the fist in. Slater with a handball back to Lang. She's got time and space to oh. hit up a target inside. Ford 50 offhand. Stewart trying to barge her way through there was Flanagan. Ball right next to the boundary line. Slater trying to keep it in. Umpire's going to call for a ball in though. And we'll have it tossed in around about 30 metres out from the Southern Saints goal, who, mind you, have been doing all the attacking in the last 10 minutes. They've, they've, covered, off that, they've covered off that switch exit really, really well. Um, and, and that was a good, good testament. George and Anscombe kicked it to basically it was a three-on-one. There was one Southern Saints player and another two as outlets. Oh, Zanketa looking for Ashley Cooper. She left it behind. Rapari at the top of the 50. Great yeah, handball to Nixon. Threw it on the left boot and sent the Saints to full forward. They come from everywhere. No mark taken. Kearns dispossessed. Oh. As was Nan scorn. No whistle. D'Angelo said over the foot he couldn't pick it up. She went in and applied a good tackle on Kendra Hire. We'll do it again. Ball up. 30 out. From the Southern Saints goal, Alex Doherty. They've just got to get some sco- uh, go- goals for, um, for their effort in this quarter of the Saints because they have done all the attacking. They've pressured really, really well, and they've zoned up very well um, outside 50. Inside, oh. inside 50 count is now in their favour of the Saints, 14 to 11. Just that conversion is missing at the moment. Bombers 3-3, the Saints 0-4. Stewart just trying to knock it to one of her fellow soldiers in the middle. Nelda's oh. kick went nowhere, really. Great win, Capsalis. Handball there to Charlotte Ryan, who from a standing start kicked it towards the teeth of goal. Crook's pretty happy back there for the Bombers to watch it bounce out of play right next to the right behind post. And still, the Saints knock on the door and search for that elusive grand final goal. So... Capsalis will hover around the ball here. Zanketa is in there as well. She's got Olivia Robinson for company around this ball. So all the prime movers around this stoppage. DeAngelis, can she faction a shot towards goal? She got a scrubby little kick, only went about 10 metres. Oh. I think DeAngelis went back in there, threw her head on the line. Did really well. Ball right up against the boundary line. Clearing kick from Anthony. Outside defensive 50. Only went about as far as Nixon, who just fumbled at a critical stage. And now can the Bombers hit back on the counter? They can't. Kick was smothered. And McDonald was happy to see it go over the boundary line. Out of play. Outside defensive 50 for the Southern Saints. Be around about 55 to 60 metres out from their goal. They trail 3-3, 21 to four behinds, four points. Haven't been able to hit the scoreboard with a goal this term, despite all their good work around the contest. Black won it from the stoppage. Maybe been a free kick there, Southern Saints, for a hold. Nance going in there. Oh. Threw her head in the hole. Got the contested position and got a kick up towards the middle of the ground. Chiani wrapped up as soon as she won it. McLean called into defensive duty again and will have it tossed up the offensive side of the centre square for the Southern Saints. Well, they've held up well, the Bombers, haven't they? Their back line, they didn't have too much to do in the opening quarter, but they've been under the pump and they will be here as well. Capsalis broke free, handball to Charlotte Ryan, kicked towards the teeth of goal. Two Bombers there, spilt it, the both of them. Slater went in to apply the tackle. Kearns in there as well, it popped out. Nan Scorn back to lend a hand for the Bombers and she's been taken high again, Georgia Nan Scorn. Slater, the offender. So the captain steps up to take disposal. Number 14, a cool head back there for the Dons. Oh, kick didn't have the carry. It only had to go 20 metres. Hosking just picked it up and stuck it on the boot. And to the outer side, they went the Bombers. McLean for the Southern Saints dropped the mark. Might be coming back, though. Tierney went in to apply a good tackle. And now that ball didn't go out on the full. It was touched. And so no lasso rule either. And a boundary throw in about 75 around for the Southern Saints goal at right half forward. So again, again, this ball has just been camped in the forward half of the Southern Saints for the better part of, of 12 to 13 minutes here. So from the restart, Lang, she's been lively in the contest. Capsalis has been as well. She's in and under there. Lang, their leg, a tackle ball in dispute. We'll have it tossed up. Nine touches apiece for Capsalis and Lang at this time. So they've gotten more and more involved in this, uh, in this game as it's gone on, especially in the second quarter. So... Radford around this ball for the Bombers. So the clearing kick there by Neves. Southern Saints go back inside forward 50. Going back with the flight there was Crook. And they're able to get out of trouble here, the Bombers. They work it up the line. Tierney came out, affected the ball. Went back in there and tried to win her own tap down. She's wrapped up as soon as she wins it, though. Umpire hovering, hovering. He's letting it go on. Tierney trying to get this out. And now we'll eventually call for the ball up. And we'll do it all again, pretty much from where we did it about 30 seconds ago. Just the offensive side of the centre wing for the Southern Saints. Out of side here. 
at Northport Oval. Stewart's wrapped up in a strong tackle as, she, as soon as she wins possession. And we'll have another stoppage. Fair contest between those two, Nan Scorn and for Essendon and Hannah Stewart for the Saints. Both of them leading from the front. Capsalis winning another clearance, but a kick towards the half-forward line was intercepted by Elizabeth Hosking. And so the Bombers potentially looking for a goal against the run of play that would really hurt. Barber did it brilliantly. Worked her way back to the football and out Mark Hannah Stewart. And the Dons fans can sense a late one. Wobbly old kick from Barber to half-forward. It clean bowled through and Anthony oh, was so well clever. Done. Toe poked it forward. Nat McDonald can't get a handle on it. She's had a grand final day, Jack oh. Darling moment, but she picked it up and on the left foot kicked it to the goal square. Oh. McIntosh there for the Bombers. Sock it away by Sultry. Picked up there by Radford. Oh, that hurts. Uh, oh, does that sting? Renee Tinney, I think it might have been. Oh, the Bombers in the pain administration business, Doc. <laughs> well, it, it's just, that, that, that's one of the figurities of football, isn't it? You know, you can dominate, you can dominate a, a quarter for, for 75, 80% of the, 80% of the, um, of the quarter. And then just like that, the, the opposition team can just run it through the other end and just before halftime, just give you one right in the chops. And I tell you what, that was that was fantastic work. Alana Barber, uh, between her and Nance Gorn, they're, they're the two best players on, on the ground at the moment. 16 tackles between the pair of them. You know what will happen for the poor old Saints. One more thing to go wrong, a bloody hailstorm come <laughs> in. And that'll help them. So the 5-6-5 is set up. Siren goes again. And we are underway here. Second half oh, at already? Northport Oval. Already? So from the restart, Nance gone in there. Winning possession of the ball. She's wrapped up by Black as soon as she was uh, looking to give that handball off. But we'll uh, have another ball up. So Black again in the ruck against Nelda. Black won the tap this time. Lang was in there. Zanketa. She's done some nice work around the stoppages. Bombers get the clearance up towards a wing. It's going to be a foot race. Dernan came out to meet it, just paddled out in front of herself, did very well. Picked up the ball, got a handball back. Going in there is Ashley Cooper. Her handball just went round her target and doing really well with Charlotte Ryan. Just had her kick thwarted. Can they get the clearing kick here? The Southern Saints, they can't turn over. Anthony now for the Bombers goes the other way. Her kick bounced into, uh, it, was, it looked like McDonald there or Radford for the Bombers. And across half forward here, we'll have a stoppage. Around about 55 metres out from the Essendon goal. They lead it 4-3 to the Southern Saints. Four behinds, four points. A big shout out to all our listeners that are listening all around the place in Switzerland and in the United States of America as well as the Saints are trying to get it from the stoppage. Fighting well in there was the desperate Hannah Stewart. She had her kick smothered and the ball goes out of play about 70 around from the Bombers goal at left half forward. 4-3, 27 they are. The Saints four behinds. The Saints who this season trailed at half time six times. They lost five of them and come back to draw once. And that was, of course, against the Bombers in round five. As the umpire wheels it back in, Nalda, the early goal kicker for the Bombers, won it down. Here comes Georgia Nanscorn to apply the pressure. She was just a little bit overzealous and uh, impeded Rebecca Neves. We mentioned in the first half, she was a part of the Bombers' inaugural VFL squad in 2018. Her kick over the head of Flanagan, picked up there by Robinson in the bright pink boots. Great collect by Rapari. Didn't get much on the handball. Hosking, oh, a rotten bounce there for Nance Gorn, but she went back and did well and got it to Ashley Cooper, who picked it up and kicked it into the middle of the ground where Eugle, just watching it run over her head and then bounce away. And here's a big ball up for grabs in the middle of Northport Oval. Winnie Lang won the day. Good tackle by Eugle to pressure the kick. Nance Gorn's in again here for the Bombers. Stewart, what a tackle. Oh, brilliant. And the little spew club rises. we get a ball up in the middle of Northport Oval. That's her Instagram. I think, is it Instagram? It, That's her it, thing, it little indeed. spew club. It is indeed. Over 100 followers on that page now. She goes back in there. Got the handball out and did well. Bucking just got the kick away up towards centre wing. Hosking went back there to win it for the Bombers. Got the handball away, but it's a turnover. Here's a go. Ryan, over to Staltari. Can the Southern Saints get something going? They go inside, Ford 50. Ball out the back. Kearns, one possession of the ball. Oh. She's wrapped up brilliantly by Alex Morecambe. What a tackle. Great defensive effort. And Morecambe will get the resulting free kick. About 25 metres out from the Southern Saints goal. So she's going to look to transfer play towards the outer side of the ground. Kick not the best, just over the head of Lang. It eluded Nalda as well. Boundary line wins out, and it's going to be a last kick out of bounds free kick. Looks like it's going to go the way of Jolliffe. So 
She goes back inside, forward 50. Nance Gorn sitting in the hole, went up with the one hand. Probably could have taken the mark. Rapari, DeAngelis was in there. Can the Bombers win out? Nalda with a clear and kick. Ugal took the mark, but it didn't go the required 15. Ooh. And the up high's called for a mark, or maybe it was over the shoulder, but... If he's called a mark, that kick only went about five metres. But uh, regardless, Bombers have got possession with Courtney Eugle across half back. Her driving kick up towards centre wing. Went out the back of the initial contest. Clifford, her driving kick now up towards half forward. Out the back of the contest. Danger McIntosh with a big tackle on her opponent. Jolliffe in there trying to lend a hand. We'll have a ball up 55 to 60 metres out from the Bombers goal. 4-3-27 plays. Four behind, four points. We haven't had a score in this third term. Well, the Saints would love the first one, and ideally in the majors, column was black. Won an interesting hit out behind her head. Lang dispossessed by Eugle. The Saints come away. Capsalis has been fantastic. Kicks them towards the wing position where there's just about a strong mark taken in front there. Kearns couldn't quite hang on, and then, well, Bella Clark might have fallen in the back of the Saints play at no whistle, so a scrimmage in neutral territory. Bombers come away with it. That was Hosking to Zan oh. Ketter, and now to Eugle up ended as she got the kick away, but it'll drop into the path of Mariana Anthony, who's going to look to take on her opponent it was Ryan did well but a great kick there from Anthony just beyond the outstretched uh, hands of her teammate it was Mia Ray Clifford she was looking for and the ball goes out of play just inside forward 50 for the Bombers who still lead by 23 points we'll get a ball in 50 around every big contest every big moment Essendon seem to be winning at the moment they just have the ability to get the ball out into space, hold their own in the close contest. They're getting closer and closer to their first ever premiership. Yeah, and this transition for the Bombers has been super dangerous. It's pretty much been the kryptonite for the Southern Saints in this game. They've been able to do really well in the clinches. Eugle was in there. Was she ridden in the back? No umpire crossed himself. And we'll have another stoppage half forward for the Bombers. 4-3, plays four behinds. Lead it by 23 points. No change to the uh, half-time margin. And now oh. Capsalis can break away from the stoppage. Kick up towards Slater. She had Marshall for company. Slater won possession. Got the handball to Capsalis. Marshall went back in there. Got the handball to Zanket. And now it's gone. Look out. Turnover. Well done, Sarah, Sarah Black. Black yeah. yeah, Read it very well. And now they can transfer play towards centre wing. Stewart. Has it been overly involved? She gets a kick out towards Winnie Lang. We know she's got a good pair of skates on her. She wins possession. She's wrapped up as soon as she did. She just had to stop for about half a oh. second, and the umpire's going to ping her holding the ball. Eloise Ashley Cooper will get the resulting free kick. Probably didn't make the required effort for that to be paid a ball up, and now the Bombers can go the other way. It's about her third free kick for holding the ball. Ashley Cooper and a great contested mark taken by Mia Ray Clifford. Sends the Bombers to half forward. Through waiting for it at the back. Well done there by Sultry to knock it to ground. Here comes Radford for the Bombers. Socket it off the ground cleverly. The umpire's going to give her a free kick for holding on. And so Essendon with a free kick, about 40 from goal. And Amelia Radford, who we mentioned her in the pregame. We've sung her praises all season, really. Uh -oh. First year of VFLW. Got it off to Through and from a standing start. Oh! Right on the goal line, oh. saving the day for the Saints. Now, the goal umpire, I'm pretty sure, signalled for touched. All clear given. Oh. I, think, I think that was home. Wow. I think that was home, and it would have been millimetres in it, Brent. So Federica Fru, who's been barely sighted in the grand final, launches off one step from 40. And the Rowena Young medalist picks her first goal in the grand final, and the Bombers lead by 29 points. Katie Lambeski. Her first touch of the day, Federica Fru, and what a way and what a time to do it. Shows you exactly what she has in her locker. She will take the game on. She will take that kick on every time she gets a chance. Made no mistake about it. And the Bombers draw ever, ever close. There's now 29 points to margin. A red and black day is surely emerging here at the moment. Yes, it would take a, a gigantic effort for the Southern Saints if they were to come back from this. That kick towards goal, a cracker from Fru. It did come off hands, but it, it clearly... Cross the line according to the goal umpire. They conferred with each other, him and the uh, field umpire, and decided it was a goal. And now we wait for this ad yeah. break. I might have been seeing things, but I thought I saw the goal umpire doing the old touchery do yeah. <laughs> not to do, Not to be. So it's a little avail for the Southern Saints. It's a goal to the Bombers. And from the restart, Stewart ridden in a tackle by Barber. And we'll have another ball up in the middle. So 
Just her numbers as well. Katie or Alex when we can. Hannah Stewart seems like she's been well held by this Bombers midfield as Barber clears the ball up towards centre half. Forward off hands. Good fist away there oh from Gray Sticker. Clifford, handball inside. McDonald gets a handball back to Eugle. 35 metres out. Kick up towards the top of the goal square. Who's going to grab the mark? It bounces over the boundary line and out of play. Fru happy to see it over and we'll get a throw in. Katie Lambeski on the comments. Just quickly, Hannah Stewart with 18 touches in the game so far. Well and truly the leader in the Saints disposal count there. The ball in in the right forward pocket, of course, the boundary umpires come in 10 metres in the VFLW, so that straightens them up, the Bombers. Nelda and Hines in the ruck for the Saints. Here's Radford, can turn onto the boot, didn't get a lot of distance. Clifford's after it in the pocket at favour. Gentile, who's swarmed by a couple in red and black. Clifford dives in, Frew's waiting for the ball to spill out, it doesn't come. And so the Bombers move it towards the right forward pocket, we'll have a ball up about 15 metres out from goal. This will be the death now, you'd reckon, if they can get one here. Both rucks missed it. All caps, oh, it's a dangerous handball. Nat McDonald slipped over. Nixon on the last line, got a handball to Lang, who's got it in the right back pocket for the Saints. It might be coming back. Eugle couldn't take the mark, but backed up quickly. Back onto the boot. Bombers towards the goal square. Frew sets herself at the back. It went out the back, but Jolliffe was there to see it through for a minor score. And the Bombers will skip along to 5-4-34. They lead the Saints four behinds, and we have gone nearly nine and a half minutes in the third quarter in the VFL. W Grand Final on WARF Radio. It's the Bombers by five goals flat. Alex Doherty. Just on Stuart, Paul, you were were talking about it before. I think what's what's happened is that around the stoppages, she's getting closely, she's getting close attention and and it's not just one player. It's just, it's a collective effort. Like I've seen Radford go to her at stages. I've seen Zanketa go to her at stages. I've even seen Nanskorn go head to head with her as well. I, I think when she gets her hands on the footy, She's, she's, Sorry, she's to, to immediately cut you under pressure. Free Sorry. kick in. No, no, free kick on the way of the Southern Saints. There's a turnover on the kick in, and uh, they're going to get a free kick for holding the ball, luckily. But, yeah, as you were saying, it's interesting. Hannah Stewart's worked her way up towards that 20 disposal mark, but that burst away from stoppage is something we haven't really seen. So, right to say she's uh, had a lot of work go into her at the stoppages. The Southern Saints work this ball up towards halfback, and they'll get another free kick for holding the ball. So, speaking of oh. Stewart, gee, she was made to earn that mark from Nanscorn across half back. So, out of sight here at North Port Oval. The Bombers in complete control. 5 4 34. Plays four behinds, four points. Kick just fell short of the intended target from Stewart. Back inside forward 50. The Bombers go. Dicker nearly took the mark. She's got support though. Handball to Fru. Broke a tackle. Little scrubby kick. They've got the numbers. Clifford just bowled over Stewart. Went back in there. Got the handball out. Trouble. Snap towards goal from McDonald. It's across Ooh. the face. And through for a behind. 5-5 five, five. plays four behinds. 11 minutes gone in this third term. Essendon coach Brendan Major paces the boundary line. You've got to think he's pretty happy with how this one sits at the uh, nearly 12-minute mark of the Premiership quarter. The Bombers well and truly in control as Bucken from the kick-in will turn it over. Nelda couldn't quite take the mark. Hack kick back inside 50. Doonan got an awkward bounce. She's got plenty of time to back up onto it and then kicked it into the back of Ashley Cooper who tried to duck out of the way. Ball in dispute. Barber went in and applied a tackle. She's gone quiet in the third quarter. Alana Barber. We've got a ball up in front of the social club where they had the grand final breakfast earlier this morning. We didn't get an invite. We had to work <laughs> on air at 11 a.m. Bombers from the restart. Eugle blasts one high, wide and ugly and it goes out on the full and the Saints will take over. In the left back pocket down by 31 points and in big trouble. Yeah, right in front of the, uh, the Sandridge event centre here at North Port Oval. Looks like Bucken will take the resulting out on the full free kick. She goes long up the line, out of sight here at North Port Oval, at the back of the contest, Hosking, but a clearing kick from DeAngelis works its way up towards the offensive side of the wing, but it's going to trickle over the boundary line. Last kick out of bounds, free kick will be taken by Daniel Marshall. Hasn't really been asked to do a hell of a lot. She's a kick, only went about 10 metres. Sold Ashley Cooper into a, a bit of trouble there. She got the ball back, Marshall, her kick turned over, Stewart. Got the handball towards Staltari. She's got time to pick up the mess. Kick goes inside, forward 50. Looks like it's all bombers back here. Tamsin Crook comes across to take a very easy intercept mark. And she can transfer the play towards the broadcast side. Clifford the target out the back. And now here we go. She's got the skates on. Does Grace Sticker takes a bounce. She ran about 30 metres here. And the umpire's going to call it. Just couldn't get clear to get that second bounce. (laughs) So... 
Yeah, she she ran the better part of 30 metres through the <laughs> middle of North Waterloo. <laughs> And uh, speaking of overzealous, Brent, I think she was just a little over overzealous here. Free kick to be taken by the Southern Saints here. And it'll be taken by Rebecca Neves across centre half back. Not a free kick. We see paid a lot, Alex Doherty, but I think that one was pretty <laughs> cut and dry. Oh, geez, I reckon, I reckon she ran enough to, to pay two frees there. As you, as you said, Paul, 30 metres. Neves to the outer side looking for Ryan, but Eugles here for the Bombers. Good pressure from Ryan. Trying to get the handball and find Morecambe, who just got it away quickly, and then Doonan taking in a strong tackle. And we'll get a ball up just between wing and left half forward for the Saints, who are still four behind, and the Bombers are 5-5, 35, and on their way, you'd think, to a maiden VFLW premiership, the Bombers. From the restart, Eugle picked it up. Trying to break clear. Radford did it so well in the traffic, but gave the handball to Morecambe, who was under the pump immediately. Bombers come away with it, just pushed off the kick. Might have been doing it again. Liv Robinson throws it on the boot. A couple of players from either side slow to pick themselves up from that last contest. Ball in dispute at half forward here for the Saints. Ashley Cooper stood up in the Beck Neves tackle and will ball it up 75 from home. And you just wonder how keen the Saints will be. They don't want to go goalless, do they, on the... On the big game in the showpiece event. It's the Bombers again from the breakaway. Sending one to the woods of the wing. And the bounce was really well read there by uh, Radford. Great kick into the middle. The Essendon crowd in the Norm Goss stand rise. But Heil got a bad bounce onto the boot from Robinson. It'll hit a good spot. But Rapari dropped the mark. It's all red and black around her. Barbara applied the tackle. Now it's come to Capsalis, who's taken by Radford. And Jordan Zanketa in there as well for good measure. And a ball in. Ball up, rather, in neutral territory. So... Sanketa around this ball. Hines went up, but Nalda won the tap down. And it looks like Nalda, who's just going to win the clearing kick, only went about 15 metres. Barber sharked the handball out towards Radford. Her kick inside forward 50. Frew bundled off the ball. Saltry did well. Probably happy to see the boundary line she is. And we'll have it tossed in 30 metres out from the Essendon goal, who lead it by 31 points here, 15 minutes into this third term. On their way to a VFLW grand final victory by the looks of it. So Hines won the tap down. Only went as far as Zanketa who sharked the handball. Handball inside to her target in Radford who was wrapped up. Barber tried to get her way through trouble. Hannah Stewart clearing kick outside. Defensive 50 for the Southern Saints. Now it's a foot race between Ryan and Ugal. Close to the boundary line. Ryan showed Ugal a clean pair of heels and ran away from all of them there. Her kick up towards centre wing. Slater. She dropped the mark, but she can go back in and pick oh. the ball up. No, boundary line will beat her off hands. We'll have it tossed in. Out of side here. Just the attacking side of the centre wing for the Southern Saints. They trail by 31 points, 16 minutes into this third term. You just think back to that prelim last week, Doherty, where it become pretty trying conditions in the second half with the driving rain. You just wonder maybe if they've just run out of steam after that tricky contest, the Saints. Yeah, I, I just they're, they're not, there's not there's no there's not a lot of run that's being generated out of stoppages here for the Saints. They're not getting first hands of the ball, and I think when they do, I think I think they're immediately met by a Bombers player. I think they've suffocated them around the stoppages today. Still in the middle of the ground, the Saints will come forward. Ryan kicked it three oh. metres to Rapari. Oh, and the elevator doors closed quickly. She was just about cut in half, almost like Alex Doherty's noggin yesterday. <laughs> Eugle picked it up for the Bombers. It's a great kick to the outer side, and Doonan marks on centre wing. Essendon looking to come forward again. It's a kick out in front of Tierney. It bounced away from her and out by Lasso, and the Saints will take over just back of the wing on the outer side. They will indeed. So... Resulting free kick hit for that uh, last kick out of bounds rule. So Saints are called to go. Kick up towards centre wing. Capsalis a target. Couldn't take the mark. Had it well fisted away from her. DeAngelis fell into her lap. And she's met with a Bombers tackle. And we'll have it tossed up. Smack bang centre wing right on the VFLW logo there. Hannah Stewart trying to burrow her way through trouble. She's got Zanketa for company. And, uh, well, she's had Bombers company pretty much this entire game in the in the heart of midfield. Nance Gorn running around the back of the stoppage there. Is she going to get on the end of the handball? She is, and she's going to get the clearance. Inside, forward, 50. They all fly. Oh. McIntosh from the back went up. Little toe poke off the ground from Fu Tiani. If it sits up for her, she goes off the deck. It's just going to go oh. through. No, just the near side. Intelligent stuff from mm. Fu to keep that ball moving. And Tiani... Well, she pretty much could have ended it there. 5 6 36, the, the Bombers to four behinds, four points to Southern Saints. Katie Lambeski on special comments. 
can't fault the Saints in endeavour. They've shown up, but they just don't have the quality to match Essendon at the moment. Just the Essendon have just been able to squeeze the life out of them, particularly at the stoppage. It's not allowing them a sniff at all. It's a very, very ruthless Essendon side we're seeing here at the moment, just continuing to turn the screws on the Saints. Saints have just about mucked up the kick in. Radford went in hard and low. Pressure comes from Eloise, Ashley Cooper and friends in red and black, and eventually the Saints, they're just forced to get it out of play. 45 out from the goal. They are defending down by 32 points in the grand finals. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Bombers 5, 6, 36 and the Southern Saints 4 behind and a long, 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 long way in arrears. Umpire balls it in. Marshall into the ruck trying to win it down to Nan Scorn. It's a good ploy. Didn't work on that occasion. Hurry kick forward there by Doonan. Here comes through. Through can turn. Uh, through can uh, nail it. Shots! Uh, <laughs> All the Bombers! What a team! What a goal! And make no mistake about it, it's the girls in red and black who will drink from the cup tonight. The Bombers by 38 points. What a goal, Federica Fru. Shut the gates. Wow. They've done it. Essendon just continuing to pile on the, the pressure here. Federica Fru, just to allow her a little inch, she'll take a mile every time. Just unbelievable season from her. Capped off by that miraculous goal. Unreal performance, unreal performance, unreal goal today. What a brilliant call, Brent. Uh, I, th- I feel like that, that's been Federica through this season. Yeah. Just, a, just fantastic goal sense. Just absolutely knows where where to yep. be at the right spot at the right time, and just the just the ability to work the angle on the kick as well. That that's just fantastic. An absolute class from Federica Fru. Can I just say that is her 49th VFLW goal. Insane, yep. insane numbers. That time for the milestone. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> She's, uh, she's been phenomenal all season up front for the Bombers and uh, she's kicked two crucial goals in this third term. Speaking of crucial, Nance gone in and under the contest. She'd almost be close to, to best on, I'd have thought, as well. What it, we'll get her numbers as well, Alex, uh, yeah. in a moment. Her clearance work has been phenomenal in this game. So from the restart, Marshall being thrown into the ruck. She's done the pinch hit work to help out Nalda in this game. So... Just outside the uh, centre circles here, the three quarter time siren sounds here at North Port Oval. Bombers made their move. I also see Brendan Major there with the headset on. He's, he's not taking it off yet. He's, no. he's still all serious. He, he wants something big. He wants a big margin. As we get underway here for the final term, clearing kick forward for the Southern Saints by Rebecca Neves. They go inside oh. forward 50. Clean bold, everyone, including Slater. Getting back there is Daniel Marshall. Can the Southern Saints muster something? High pressure early. Kearns was in there trying to lay a tackle. Morecambe gets back there for the Bombers as well. Ball in dispute at the moment. It's in the forward pocket. Hosking helps her opponent over the boundary line. Line. And we'll have it tossed in 25 metres out from the Southern Saints goal. 6 6 42 are the Bombers. Southern Saints four behinds, four points. You feel that that second term where they just let things get out of their hands with regards to the scoreboard. They dominated the second term, the Southern Saints, but the Bombers with a class edge have turned the screws when they need to. Been hot on transition and they've made the Southern Saints pay in this grand final. So. From the uh, throw-in, we'll get an ensuing stoppage. A ball up. It looks like Hines won the tap down there Oi. for the Southern Saints. And a uh, bear hug of a tackle over the top. And it'll be a high free kick going the way of, looks like, Capsalis. Capsalis, who has been fabulous in a losing effort today for the Southern Saints. The young lady recruited from Bo Morris Footy Club. Only moved into the midfield late on in the season. Was very good in the prelim. Last week as well. It's been a shining light for him too today. 21 disposals in the prelim, which was a season high for her. Kicking towards Slater, who's just about managed to reel it in. Not quite right on the boundary line. It's over and out in the right forward pocket for the Saints. who We know in the second quarter when they kicked to the Fred Cook end of the ground, it lived up here. What a shame they could only find four minor scores. How the game might have been different if they had been able to find even a couple and be a little bit closer at the main break. But they're looking for a goal here. And Capsalis, who's looked the likely one, got boot to ball. When he lang ran into a roadblock, the ball has come free. Bombers with numbers. There's a good tackle in there applied by Taylor Kearns on Georgia Nan Scorn. And we'll have a ball up 20 metres out from goal for the Saints. So can the Saints muster up a goal? They're yet to find one. Black, her tap, came off the head of DeAngelis, who got a handball back inside probably could have gone around and thrown it on the boot anyway it fell towards anthony who just slammed it on her boot outside defensive 50 chiani 
But getting back there for the Southern Saints is Buck, and she's wrapped up immediately. Just got the handball away. Handball out to Neves, who threw it on her boot around the body. Inside forward 50. It's off about three sets of hands there. Hosking hovering around the ball as well. Tackle laid, and we'll have a ball up. 35 metres out from the Southern Saints goal, who are doing the attacking, or all the attacking in the early parts of this uh, fourth quarter. Stewart in there laying a tackle on her opponent, but I think Nanscorn was taken high in the tackle by Stewart. And Georgia Nanscorn will take the resulting free kick. Worked her way up to 20 disposals, 10 tackles as well in this game. And she'll drive the Bombers outside defensive 50. The inspirational co-captain heads to the outer side, off the hands. Nelda couldn't quite hold on to the mark. The Saints win it back. Nixon, long ball towards the teeth of goal. Well done there by oh. Hosking, who kicked, picked it up cleanly and ran away from Slater. Kicks to the open spaces of the Norm Goss wing where Anthony got there ahead of Rapari. It was a well-judged tackle there by Rapari. Just waited until she won the ball. And then Winnie Lang goes in and applies some more pressure. And the Saints fans have something to cheer about in the early stages of the final quarter in a grand final that hasn't gone their way today. But they'll cheer their girls on right to the end as Winnie Lang is off and running. Not a bad looking kick inside 50. <laughs> Guess who? Georgia Nan Scorn, all 162 centimetres of her in from the side to take a mark that you would expect of someone about eight inches taller and she might have hurt herself on the way down as well, Georgie. What an inspiration. Continuing to do the dirty work, continuing to put herself in harm's way, leading from the front here. That might as well just sit back and seal herself as best on ground today. Well, now I think she's pointing to her knee, they, yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. And this is really bad. Oh, no. Well, we don't need us to tell you that this is bad. They've got the two trainers over to her. She's being helped to her feet now. You can see that. I think it is that right leg that is taped. <laughs> Listen to the applause this lady gets as she comes from the ground. What a player she's been. Lambert Pierce medal in 2021. We'll be right up there again, you would think. No doubt on track to win the Bombers' best and fairest as well. And be, we'll be one of the 21 that will run out for Essendon in the AFLW in round one next month and cement her name in history for the Dons. She's coming to the ground. And I dare say Georgian Ann Scorn has been seen for the final time this season as she makes her way to the bench. So why would you bring her back on? That's exactly right. I reckon that might have just locked her way as the best on ground. I reckon a bit of emotional attachment to that medal now as well. So Nanscorn had that resulting mark obviously taken off her and they work the ball up towards half back here, the Bombers. Kick by Eugle into the oh. middle. Geez, it bounced fortuitously the Bombers way. And uh, Ashley Cooper sends him towards half forward. McDonald just fumbled at a critical stage. Let Jolliffe in. Handball from McLean. And now the Southern Saints can clear back into the middle of the ground. Rapari fell into her lap. She's met by Morecambe in a strong tackle. Umpire crosses himself. We'll have it tossed up. Just the attacking side of the centre square for the Southern Saints. They still trail by 38 points. Yet to have a score here. In this final term, Zanketa laying a tackle on her opponent. Ball fell free. Robinson just let it loose, and the umpire is going to call a high free kick going the way of the Southern Saints. It'll be Hannah Stewart to take the resulting free kick. This will be disposal number 23. It's a game high. Kick inside 50, looking for Nixon, who's gone forward, and she's gone one-on-one -on -one here with Hosking, and she won it, Nixon. And on the left, bouncing ball. Oh, reaching for it there. I think it was Kearns right on the... Uh, the behind line there and through for a, another minor score for the Saints. That's their fifth, so there's 0-5. And the Bombers are 6-6-42 and the margin is 37 as we've played in the final quarter. Nearly five and a half minutes from the kick in. The Bombers go to the outer side and a great mark taken by Simone Nalder who kicked off proceedings this afternoon with a goal after a, an early free kick that went her way in the ruck contest. Just her third VFLW goal. The Bombers just etching it up the outer wing. She's been a great player, Simone Nelda. Been here since day one. She has missed five games in four seasons. Ever reliable. Towards the centre wing they go, the Bombers. But a nice intercept mark taken out there. And it'll be coming back. They've got it just backward of the wing. I'm struggling to locate who that is, so I'll give it to Paul. Yeah, it was uh, Alexandra Hines who fed off the handball to a teammate. And they go up towards half forward. Coming out and taking a good uncontested mark is Kearns. So... What could she manufacture for the Southern Saints? Her driving ball inside forward, fifth. It was a good kick. Fell into the lap of Nixon. Just dropped the mark. It's around about 40 metres out Ooh. from the Southern Saints goal. And a hot holding the ball free kick has been paid. It's going to go the way of the Southern Saints. And it looks like it's going to go the way of Ebony Nixon, who was a late in to this game. 
for Claire Keowain. And with Nixon into the team, that actually has taken the Southern Saints to three players out there with grand final experience. A premiership play for the Hawks in 2018, Ebony Nixon. So Nixon drives the ball up towards the top of the square, nailed it with a big fist, and it's through for one behind. So six behind, six points for the Southern Saints. Essendon 6-6-42, in complete control of the 2022 VFLW Grand Final. The Saints have found their way to six points, but as old Rexy would say, they've gone by the Cape. <laughs> Bombers, central-looking kick. Oh, Nelda went for a fly at the back. Got a knuckle on it. Saints to come away through. Grace Buchan, who turns and sends a high one inside 50, looking for Nixon again, one-on-one -on -one with Marshall. And it goes out of play just inside the forward 50 for the Saints. What will they take out of this game and, and the season overall, Katie? Obviously, uh, comprehensively outplayed, but when the dust settles, I think they'll look back on this game in particular and think, look, we, we were beaten by an incredible Essendon team. Absolutely. I think undoubtedly they can look upon this season as a success and they can take pride in their efforts and what they've been able to do this season. Making a grand final from fifth is an achievement within its own self. So they'll look back at this at that second quarter where they had the Bombers on the ropes a little bit there. They continued to provide the chances. They continued to knock at the door, but they just couldn't quite convert that into chances. What might have been is what they might is what they may think But at this moment. But be proud of their efforts and they can keep their head up high tonight. So some repeat stoppages inside forward 50 here for the Southern Saints. It's pretty much a re been a repeat of the uh, of the second term, Alex, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has, and they're just sort of, and they're locking it in. But you know, it's a di different sort of, different sort of set of circumstances now. The, the Dons they know their home, and the Saints they're just sort of playing for pride now. But uh, look, they're, they're 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 gutting it out here, the Saints, and re regardless of whether or not Essendon have parked the bus. But I, I think. As you said, Katie, they can be very proud of their efforts. I mean, you look at who they've who they've taken on this final series from fifth. I mean, Geelong still a top four team. I still think they're a very. I still think they they've been a, a tremendous outfit this year. Hawthorne, who we know we've they've they've um, they went in under strength and tried to put all their players in cotton, all their AFLW players in the cotton wool. And then last week against the Casey team, who would have been reeling from their um their game against against Essendon the week before yep. and, and they would have been absolutely fantastic they, they'd be absolutely chuffed so the ball worked its way back outside uh, uh, 50 for the Southern Saints and they're going to go back inside here from centre wing they get a free kick ball played up the line towards half forward so one on one here good tackle there laid by Nixon on her opponent and the umpire is going to come in and ball it up 40 metres out from the Southern Saints goal right in front of the Sandridge Event Centre here at North Port Oval. It's, uh, I'm sure that's been getting a good workout through the uh, latter stages of this morning and early afternoon. And ball outside, defensive 50 here for the Bombers. We'll have it tossed up. You think about what this means to a lot of Essendon people that have been involved in this program since day one. There are five players out there today for the Bombers that were a part of the inaugural squad in 2018 that won only one game and finished on the bottom of the ladder. Courtney Eugle, Kenny Heil, Alex Morecambe, Nat McDonald and Simone Nelder, who will all be premiership players in about 10 minutes' time as the umpire pulls out a free kick, and it's a free kick going the Bombers' way at half-back to be taken by Jordan Zanketa, who, of course, formerly of the Brisbane Lions, was in their emergencies for their 2018 AFLW Grand Final. Coming up to take the mark a long way from Holmes, Mia Ray Clifford. Kick in the direction of Fru, just went beyond her. Bumped off at their dicker. Saints with some numbers here, but still the Bombers might win out. Well done there by Fru to just toe poke it forward and out of, uh, earn about 10 metres. And now they all dive in from every which way. Most of it red and black in there as it has been all day. And we get a ball up just forward of the wing for the Bombers who are 6-6-42, leading the Southern Saints six behind. It's an even six-goal ball game. It is indeed. So Marshall... Won the ball from the restart. Hannah Stewart, though, just throwing that ball on her left boot. A clearing kick in towards the middle of North Port Oval. Bombers went out there. Morecambe did really well. Wheeled around on her right boot. Kick up towards 35 metres out. Clifford dropped the mark. Went back in there to lay a tackle. Plenty of players over this ball. And we'll have it tossed up. 40 out from the Bombers' goal. Looking to add the cherry on top of what has been a, a very sweet cake here at North Port Oval. They're going to come away with the 2022 VFLW flag. What a performance it's been, not just in this game, but for the whole year. Ball works its way towards half forward. Hosking, been terrific, handball Hosking. out. Yeah, she has been, got the handball back towards her target in Ashley Cooper, but DeAngelis went in there and stole it off hands. Can they get something going here? No, they can't. 
Bella Clark just got her kick away. She was tackled across half back here for the Bombers. You got to clean up the mess. Handball out the back there towards Ashley Cooper. Oh. And now they're away. Radford on centre wing. And the Bombers can transfer. And they've got numbers here at half forward. Oh, they're queuing up here. The Dons. Dick has taken a while to pick oh. it up. When she did, Pia Staltari come uh -oh. for her. McIntosh ripped it away. You know, final game as a league footballer. Bomb one towards the top of the goal square. But back there to take a crucial mark was... Uh, Oh, Gentile, it's an up and under kick looking for McLean. Dropped in the arms, though, of Georgia McLean, who marks for the Saints at left half back. She's held up by Mia Ray Clifford. And the Saints are just going to maintain possession here. That's the captain, Deanna Jolliffe, who next time she wears these colours, it will be as an AFLW footballer. First year as captain. We'll play in the big time next year. Looking for Kearns at the back, off the hands of Black, and then roving it was Kearns. Kick towards the middle of the ground. Here's a big one on one. It's Morecambe and it's DeAngelis. DeAngelis with the speed should win out. Runs onto it on the far wing. Doubles back and comes back here towards Grace Bucken, who marks just backward of centre wing on the outer side. In the final quarter, we have gone 12 and a half minutes and the Bomber fans are just counting down the, t the uh, remaining time now as Bucken finds Winnie Lang, who we've got to give her praise. She's tried hard all day today, Winnie Lang. Inside 50. Can they find a mark here, the Saints? Oh, just about in front. Kearns, who ran hard to get into position. Just dropped it at the crucial moment. Zankater on hands and knees. Got it to Ashley Cooper, who had it pickpocketed by Neves, trying to will herself forward. And I think she's been penalised for a throw, the former bomber. Once again, the Dons pressure just too much and a free kick to be taken by uh, Eloise Ashley Cooper in the left back pocket. So you think about some of these great stories for the bomber. Cecilia McIntosh, who looked cooked at the middle mm. point of the season with that uh, hamstring injury. Saints come forward again. They do indeed, but it's only as far as a Bombers defenders. Although they work their way out towards the top of the square. Stewart was in there, I think it was. She's wrapped up as soon as she wins possession. She's wrapped up by Hosking. So around about 30 metres out from the Southern Saints goal. Nalda won the tap, or it was uh, Marshall rather. Eugle got the little handball out towards her target. And the Bombers go outside, defensive 50. Good one-on-one -on -one mark, though. Taken by, it looks like it was Saltry. And she'll go back inside forward 50 for the Southern Saints. Can they get a goal? It's Eugle. She's been mopping up the mess here across the back line for the Bombers. Morecambe was wrapped up in a tackle. Ashley Cooper, she just picked it up. Got a handball to Zanketa. Back to Eugle. Can they get a mark here, the Bombers? Just to slow things down. Ryan was in there for the Southern Saints. Radford was wrapped up as soon as she won possession. Right next to where... The 50-metre arc meets the boundary line, and we will have a stoppage here across half forward. We talk about great stories. Courtney Eugle is one of them. Yep. Um, has been through a lot in her personal life, but has been consistent for this Bombers side. Has been a day one player. Has given her all to every last moment at this club. 19 touches today, consistent performer all game. And you know what? Massive shout out to her and uh, I hope she enjoys every moment of this coming success. Ball out of play at right half forward for the Saints. Five and a half minutes to play in the grand final. And even Federica Fru, who's been here for a, a couple of years, two or three years now, and she missed that finals run last year with a, a bulging disc. She played right up until round nine and then had to sit on the sidelines and watch as the Bombers went all the way to the preliminary final. And she's going to receive a medallion around her neck and having played a great role as well. Didn't see too much of her in the opening half, but she's kicked a couple on grand final day. She's kicked them all year. The Saints have a free kick. It was taken by Saltry, who's gone short. And here is Deanna Jolliffe, who has it. Still a couple of kicks from home in search of a grand final goal. The Saints, they don't want to be shut out in the big game. Jolliffe's going to try and take on Radford on the mark and did it well. Got it. Boot the ball, out into the pocket. And a really nice mark taken in the middle of about seven players. And it's been hauled in by Taylor Kearns, who's had a look earlier on today. This will take a good kick. She'll have to kick it all of 40 metres, I reckon, Paul. As it, she toiled away yeah. all day up forward as well. And her work rate's just been great for, for the Southern Saints, but just hasn't been able to get on the end of any product. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the Saints, well, they've, I think they've all worked hard. It's been, a, it's, it, summed up, it sums up their day. They've worked hard, but they just haven't had enough reward. They've just broken down at the last hurdle. For a consolation prize, Kearns won't have to carry on the kick, and it's going to be helped through. After all of that, for a behind. The seventh for the Saints. 0 7 they are. The Bombers are 6 6 42. The margin is 35 points, and we're into the final four minutes of the VFLW Grand Final here on WARF Radio. We are indeed, and it'll be Bella Clark 
to take the resulting free kick, and she, uh, resulting kick in rather. She gains about 15 metres out from the uh, goal square, kicks it up towards half back. Yugel again across half back. Another possession for her in this term. So Bombers go long up the line. Frederica threw the target, went up with one hand, kept it out in front of herself in one possession, and a low little darting ball. He's only going to go as far as Chloe Saltry. Now she can come into the middle of the ground, still oh. tarry the target, turnover. Crook, kick out towards Heil. Back to Zanketa. She's got Ashley Cooper for company. Her now kick is a beauty to Renee Tierney. She's been that outlet for the Bombers all season, continues to do so in this game. Her kick to Dune. Oh. Sold the candy inside Ford 50. Can Fru get out the back here? They've got McDonald. There's a cue of them here. Frederica Fru oh. around the body. No. Oh. Off the line. Kept McLean, it it's still alive <laughs> in the Southern States. Can go back the other way now across half back. Was that Federica Frew on the right boot? It was indeed, that, yeah. That, she, that, very, very unorthodox sort of kick, that. Yeah, she tried to go the banana and uh, Southern Saints defender right on the last line of defence was able to keep it in. And they work it up towards centre wing and we'll have it tossed in. Just the defensive side of the centre wing for the Southern Saints. 6-6-42, the Bombers. Seven behind, seven points of Southern Saints. And the Bombers are cruising to a premiership victory. It was Alina Gentile who denied Federica Frew her 50th. VFLW goal come into the game on 47 needed just three more she's got two Saints come away from the scrimmage it's Rapari Capsala slow to pick herself up after that last contest Rapari's kicking the Saints the half forward two on one in favour of the Bombers Eugle and Hosking Eugle's been sensational oh, today again. stepped free of the tackle <laughs> has not panicked at all today and a great kick across the back 50 to find Heil and the Bombers will have a player come on off the bench it's Clifford Heil hasn't spotted her well the kick went in that direction I don't think she spotted her but she'll say of course I did and Mia Ray Clifford the co-captain marks for the Bombers just backward of the wing and they'll try and just ice these last couple of minutes. McIntosh is on short. Clifford goes further afield. Tierney's there one-on-one. -on -one, trying to get a fist on it. Sultry trying to knock it away at ground level. Sultry did it well. Here's Jolliffe. Stewart's tried hard all day. She's been stripped. Maybe lucky not to be called holding the ball. Doonan strong in the tackle. Got it to Zanketa who's been taken in a strong tackle. Still no whistle. The ball has come out. Clifford just willing it forward. Got a handball. Barber taken. The ground they go. We'll get a ball up on the broadcast wing in the beautiful sunshine here at North Port Oval. So, again, it'll be Black and Nalda to go up in the ruck. Nalda, as you said, she kicked the first goal of the game through a free kick. Zanketa, she's been important at the coal face. Barber hovering over the top of the contest. Umpire calls for a ball up right in front of our broadcast position here. Wharf Radio, 89.1 FM at the ground if you're listening. So, from the restart, it'll all be to little avail for the Southern Saints if they can get something going forward. Hannah Stewart... Her clearing kick is going to go over the boundary line and out of play. Last kick out of bounds rule will come into effect. And the Bombers can hold possession here. The final 30 seconds. Now we do have a player down and the umpire just called a stoppage on play. It's doing it, uh, I, I think, Paul. Yep. So the clock does stop for this, for injury. And the only circumstance in which yep. the clock stops in the VFLW for a blood duel or a, a serious injury, which we hope this isn't, but Doonan's got the two trainers with it and they've already as we know pulled George and Ann Scorn who come off earlier in the quarter and Doonan wow oh, she's hunched over okay. I think Alana Barb was having a laugh about it I reckon she might have copped one right in the guts she's okay Joe Doonan kicked a goal in that second quarter that was the one that broke the backs of the Saints crook it's a dangerous kick Morecambe couldn't take the mark, but they should get out of jail. The Bombers, oh, oh. Clark just got boot to ball. Can they kick a goal here, the Saints? They've got it on the turnover. Rapari gave it to Cormac, who had her handball smothered. Great stuff, Morecambe. Right to the bitter end, the Bombers. Kicks towards the outer side. Picked up there by Buchan, who beat a couple. Kicks towards the forward 50. The Saints need a mark in from the back. Stewart got a hand in, but that'll just about do it, I reckon. It's the Bombers. It was always the Bombers, wasn't it? There's the siren, the sweetest sound of all for Essendon. What a team. Undefeated Premiership season in 2022, and they come from the ground, they come from everywhere. The girls who play the grand old game have conquered it here today at North Port Oval, and a bit of silverware going to Windy Hill.